Hey YouTube land, Tech Andrews here doing another action figure review. Now this is for something I picked up, well, a buddy of mine sent me before Christmas. I hadn't had a chance to get around to reviewing them. And this is a line from Lanard Toys called Star Troopers. Now I've done a review for one of their sets a while back, a good while back, I think nearly at the start of last year. Um, it was a one set that was available over here in Ireland, which was a big um bug set i think it was a big bug hunt i think it was called something along those lines and it was supposed to be a test run to see how well they sell and considering there was a lot more cooler stuff in the line they didn't seem to pick it up uh, the company that normally sells the lanard line um hopefully that might change and maybe they might actually bring more stuff in during the year i don't know it just seems to have completely died so but what this is, is the Star Troopers line. Now, I'm not sure how available these are even in the States. They, people seem to have been looking for them and not being able to find them at mass retail. So there could have been, you know, the whole shipping container things and retail issues with that. But what these are, now, forgive the packaging. They got a bit beat up on the way over from the States. Plus, there's um, uh, my buddy who sent them to me had to wrap them in a lot of tape to get them uh, together. But this is the packaging so this is the kind of mid-range tier set i think they're pretty much these are i think these retail retailed for 25 dollars so there's only two figures in this set which is the thrasher and the straffer straffoid set um i have both of these to review so there's only two as you can see there's a guy with a big gun and a glider and a guy with a motorbike and a big gun and then the two bugs the bugs are the actual main star attraction of these so the box for both the big ones are pretty much identical except for the layout of where things are laid out inside you have some really cool artwork on the sides and it's basically planet attack sub org alien trooper set and with accessories is basically what it is and it's planet attack and then i have a single card to figure if i just move the this is the one for the which trasher bug so you can see there's an image of the trasher up on top exact same thing on the back there's no difference and if i bring in the single carded one so you have the single card one which is the parasite bug uh galactic exploration force parasite attack beware of the parasite bugs brain takeover and then there's on the back of this one these were ten dollars i'm not sure if you can see that this, this, these were around ten dollars so the one i have is the sluggard but there's four creatures in the set so there's the bloodsucker crusher leecher and sluggard um the troopers that come with these are fairly generic basic figures so i'll run through them quickly but for the sets you get bop 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 and bop so if i just angle my camera down you will see most of that bear with me a moment so i'll do the single card to figure last because he has the least amount of stuff to go through and i'll go to the other guys first so this is the guy that comes with the glider pack he kind of looks like a pilot figure these if i'm recalling correctly they are a reuse of lanard some of lanard's really old old lines um i think they were soldier not soldier force but soldier could have been soldier force um I think it was Elite Soldier or something along those lines is where they started. I'm pretty sure these are reuse. In fact, if they have any date stamp on them for when these were manufactured. It says 2001. Sorry. It says 2001 on the foot. So these are quite old. These are nearly, or what, 11-year-old uh, sculpts now at this stage. And they're fairly minimum in articulation. Head rotates it's on a swivel arms are just on a swivel legs are on a swivel can go forward not much back and they're pretty nicely detailed for what they are it's just a shame they don't have the articulation as of modern figures but these are kind of a budget line figure again as with most all Leonard figures 
uh, you have paint apps on the front or the display side and nothing on the back. So you have this kind of camo pattern on the pants, which doesn't translate around onto the back. You have all these markings on the front for the body armor and on the, sh on the shoulder or on the bicep. And nothing translates around. For the other guy in the two pack or the bit larger sets, you have another one. Now, I believe these guys are also reused for the Aliens Collection Marines. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those guys handy to have a look see, but I'm pretty sure I got this guy already with the Alien Marine set. Again, camo on the front, you have the ST Star Trooper logo on there. Uh, it's like a digital camo pattern. Again, nothing really on the back. The head is actually slightly painted. The hair is painted on the back, which is kind of rare. Usually it'll be like the front is painted and then it's just like not painted after that. Well, trying to figure out if it's the, from what I can see, I think it's the helmet is the painted part. The head is cast in a skin tone plastic. So it's actually the head has the paint apps and the helmet. So, and you have like this eyepiece, which isn't too bad. Uh, you could possibly get away with using these heads on other figures if you customize them. It wouldn't look too bad. Uh, one of the funny things is they come with comedically oversized guns. As per normal with some Leonard. It reminds me a lot more of the Chap May stuff. Uh, you can see they even like had to modify the handle for these this gun to fit the figure. It's a humongous oversized, I want to say M16, but I don't think so. I think it's something else. It could be an M16. I'm not sure which rifle this is. This is just a made up rifle. I've seen it a few times in some of their line. It's like a Gatling laser cannon type thing. They've used it a few times and it comes with a removable uh, bandolier of shells or, or bullets. And then you get this cool one man unicycle with tracks, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, I, this is a reuse of stuff from the core line or the core elite. No, I think this came, is there a manufacturing date on this one actually? When this was designed, I think this is a more newer sculpt, uh, 2020. Yeah, I, I think this only came out last, uh, last two years now, uh, with the core elite line and it was part of the kind of new design sculpts f for the line. So, uh it's a nice bike uh, it's a bit flat it's like it's not too big it's not too wide which is kind of a hindrance but it's also good because some figures it makes it easier for other figures to sit on them so just for example here is the one of the more recent gi joe figures and you can see he fits quite nicely on it and just for because i have one here this is one of the uh, uh what's this rat and page figures this is uh the Rock from Rampage, I believe. I don't think it's the... Uh, could be The Rock from Jumanji, but I think it's the Rampage version. There was Rock in Jumanji line and Rock in the Rampage line, so they got multiple use out of the Rock sculpt. So it is designed for these kind of more newer figures. You can see legs can... kind of almost, just almost, fit this, and you can have them riding it and driving along. Again, nicely sculpted, some minimal paint apps. I think the re really the only thing that's painted on this thing is the seat and this orange piece here. And I think these are stickers. In fact, yeah, I can see they're stickers. So fairly minimal, but it is nice. It does stand quite well on its own. And then I will get to the bugs, don't worry. Uh, then you got this glider thing, which has been reused multiple times. I've, I got one in the total soldier line um again i don't think there is a sorry there, there should be a date stamp on this for when it was first used and maybe it's on this side oh it's in very small writing 2001 so it's from the same era of the these figures and this is the guy that came with it so the way it works is you just slide them through and then just clip them on with the clip he can barely hold the handles of the glider and he's supposed to glide around the place. The other version of this I have has a string through it because you could glide it down with the string. But you could tie a string through this and glide around the place if you wanted. Uh, the version I have came in dark green. 
I, this has been used in multiple colors, I think, as, over the years. So there is that. Hey, as I'm here, I might as well go through this guy as well. So he comes with an oversized MP5, I would imagine it looks like. Quite oversized. Again, to modify the handle so he can hold it. These guys tend to have one hand in a grip pose facing forward and then a sideways grip hand for either holding onto bikes or for no reason whatsoever. So gimmick with this guy is he does come with this removable helmet. Now it is very tight on these guys. So I'm afraid I might pull the head off at one point. So bear with me. I might have to do this off screen. Hopefully it won't snap the neck peg. But it is a super tight. I'm not sure if you can even see this on camera. Ugh. It is a super tight hemlet. It's nicely done, nicely detailed. Has some nice sculpting, it has blue uh, visor on it, which is kind of nice. You have this very bobbly swivel head now, since he's I've put the head on and off a few times. Again, same camo pattern, the, uh, the kind of digital with the Star Trooper logo, and he has this other logo on this shoulder pad. Again, I think this is another reuse of those Total Soldier and also the Colonial Marines figures. I think the head might be new though, because uh, I remember most of the Total Soldier line having just a sculpted helmet. So these heads on these guys might be actually new. But what you get is this thing, which is really, really cool. It's a big bug like critter. You can see the blue paint traps from the visors transferred over onto this. It has these big antenna big pinchers, there's a big hollow in the in, underneath for where it connects onto the trooper. And the idea is that these guys are supposed to be taken over by a parasite that slides onto their head. And basically you have a big, uh, big bug trooper going around. It doesn't slide completely down to the neck, but like it does slide over the head. Uh, I don't think that, yeah, it doesn't go any further than that, but you still retain the swivel on the head. Yeah, I'd say if it was to go the whole way down, this sculpted piece here would start hindering the articulation. So you, it's a, a bit of a trade-off. And they also have peg holes. So if you have stuff with peg, peg holes or pegs on them, you can stand them up. That is the mar the Marines or Troopers or whatever you want to call them out of the way. And for the Piasto resistance are the Alien Bugs, which is really cool. And I've already forgotten the names of them. So I think one is Trasher, is it? Trasher and Strathoid. The Strathoid is a scorpion-like looking one, which looks like a mix of a scorpion and some other sort of flying critter, which is pretty cool. They're very insectoid style, and they do have very minimal moving parts. So you have this tail that moves back and forward, or side to side, really, on a swivel. I, it's it says it's supposed to be a stinger action or something like that it's not really it doesn't spring back into place or anything like that and then you have this pincher that you can open and close again it's not in a spring or anything so and it's a shame it's only on one side the other side even though it looks like it has the hinge it's just sculpted and i think the pincher on this is slightly larger than the one on the right hand or the right claw but overall it's a nicely sculpted critter um would work well for diorama stuff it, w it would probably work well with the alien line as well or the aliens collection line and then you have a trasher which is another armored bug looking thing this one has a little bit less articulation these legs don't move they're just fixed pose we have these forward moving uh slashing um pincers i would imagine or scythe scythe like things there's no moving jaw the head doesn't move the head doesn't move on the other one they are kind of fixed pose but they look really really nicely sculpted it's just a shame they don't have the articulation and it would be cool if they had bo multiple ball joints on the legs and on the um maybe on the head so you could swivel side to side kind of thing paint apps are quite nice in this one you can see it has like a fiery red to yellow orange kind of thing going on and you have these the red ends at the bottom of the feet and the claws which is really really cool and again the metallic blue eyes just look really really cool the other one does have the metallic blue on or actually it doesn't have metallic blue it has the kind of dark green 
almost on the ice. If it was metallic, it would have been nicer. But I think because it's a red, the plastic on the head is red, it wouldn't made it might have popped as well. But uh, there is more kind of paint apps going on with this guy than there is this guy. He's more just two tone, whereas this one has the yellow kind of bleeding in as well, which is quite nice. Overall, really good sets if you can find them. That is, unfortunately, I don't know where the they're easily readily available. The only place, other place I've seen these for sale is on eBay, but in fairly inflated marked up prices because people think they're so hard to get they i mean i think the basic trooper figures like the single card with the bug head are somewhere in the region of 15 to 20 dollars so it's a must, uh, basically your best way is to shop around and see if you can get bargains on them but overall i do like the line and just for scales or scale comparison i'll just stand up one of these guys hopefully this guy will stand with the bug head on him and i'll just bring in deathstroke from the spin masters batman four inch figure line um i have that blue guy which i can't remember his name from the mandalorian tv series which i haven't done a review of yet for his figure i have it there ready to go at some point when i get around to him fortnite figures and good old G.I. Joe figures so there's a range of figures across the board so you can see the different scales um, they do scale quite well to the 4 inch line you could even get away with probably using the bugs for a 6 inch line in fact if I just bring in a good old bog standard stormtrooper and just move everyone out of the way just move back you could use them as some sort of critter against a stormtrooper as well i mean they do kind of they would look small but big enough to be bugs from different scales so overall a really good line so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video review for the star lanard toys star trooper line if you can find them i do recommend them the figures the basic figures are pretty poor pretty boring but like the bugs themselves and the insects or the alien figures are the main stay of this and maybe the packing accessories of the vehicles so if you can get vehicles that will fit other lines so you can cross them over with other stuff or customize them to your heart's content so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video and as always please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my videos cheers guys